Hi, welcome to Chemistry Colleen's Workshop. In our previous episodes, we were talking about soda. We talked about soda fountains and root beer floats and carbon dioxide and bubbles and baking soda. We talked about all of that. Now we are going to make our own soda fountain. Get it? We were at a soda fountain. Now we're going to make a soda fountain. Don't forget your apron. Yes, I will definitely need my apron for this one. So let's get this apron going. Get this on. And we'll talk about how we make our own soda fountain. Okay, let's see. What do I have here in front of me? Soda. Yeah, I have some cola. <laughs> I sure do. And I have cola that's on ice, so that's cold. And then I have cola that's just been sitting in, in our home, so that's room temperature. Okay, so that's not cold. And then I have these kind of cool little mints here. And these little mints are stored of all kinds of sugars and other things that are called nucleation sites. And when the carbon dioxide bubbles from the soda get into those nucleation sites, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so, you know in chemistry, Colleen, we usually have to explore some kind of variable, collect some data, write down our observations, you know, an experiment. So, we're going to see what kind of soda or cola, what kind of cola, a cold one or a room temperature cola, makes a bigger fountain. You know, at Chemistry Colleen, we always do an experiment so we can collect the data. So we explore a variable, we do the experiment, we make an observation, and then we come up with a reason why that all happened. And today, what we're going to explore for our variable is the difference between warm and cold. And we'll see which one makes a bigger soda fountain. But before we even get started on this, do you have an adult with you to do this? Yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. Get your adult, because this is so fun for everybody. Get everyone in your house to do this, because this is so fun. Ah, I can't wait. Okay, now I have a question for you because you have been such great scientists this whole season. Which one do you think is going to make a bigger fountain? The cold cola or the warm cola? Warm. That's called a hypothesis. When you figure out something that you think, oh, I think the cold one's going to make a bigger fountain, that's a hypothesis. Or if you think the warm one is going to make a bigger fountain, that's also a hypothesis. Hypothesis is just a big sciencey word for what you think is going to happen. And it's good to have that in your head, but it's even better to see what actually happens, collect the data, and then make your observations and then tell what happened afterwards, okay? So you can't just stop with a hypothesis. No way, not in big league science. And remember, we do big league science here. So big league science, we always collect the data. All right, okay, I'm kind of nervous. All right, so how are you going to measure this? Well, I am going to put the bottle, we're going to start with the cold one, in front of me. And it's going to make a fountain. It's going to go up like that. And I want you to see how high it goes. Does it go to my nose? Does it go to my chin? Does it go to the top of my apron? How high does it go? And remember that. And then we're going to do the same thing with the warm bottle. And we'll see which one goes higher, which is the higher fountain. Okay, you ready? Ah, a little nervous. Also, parents, adults, this can be kind of messy. <laughs> so this could be something that you might want to do outside if you can, or in a sink. We don't have a sink at my workshop, so we're just going to go for it. All right, so, is everyone ready? Which bottle is this again? Cold! Yeah, it's the cold one. Okay, I'm gonna try and stand very, very still after I drop the mint in, and you tell me how high it goes. Is it going? 
Is it going? Is it going? It's going a little bit. It's a teeny fountain. It's an itty bitty 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 fountain, isn't it? Oh, look at the little fountain. <laughs> I don't know why I was nervous. I thought it was going to be a bigger fountain. Okay, that's a teeny fountain. So how how did it go? Mm, this high. Do you want to try the other one? Let's yeah. See? Okay, let's try the other one. I'll put that right there. I might have that later. It's a hot day. Okay. Bring this one up. While I'm doing this. How could I make a bigger fountain? What could I do? Add more mints. Yeah, I could add more mints. I could add more of these Mento mints to make it bigger. But when we're doing an experiment, we have to keep everything the same except for we have cold and hot. So I'm still only going to add one to this one. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Ah! Whoa. Okay. It's not getting me, but it, which one's bigger, hot or cold? Hot. Yeah, hot is bigger, definitely bigger. That made more of a mess, too. We can tell which one created more just by the size of our mess. All right, so why do you think the warm one made a bigger fountain than the cold one? So when molecules are warm, they run around really fast. They zoom, 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 zoom. They run around. And the faster they run, the faster they react. And so when I dropped them in in there, it went run, 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 boom. So when things are warm, they usually go a lot faster and bigger. But when things are cold, they're like this. I don't want to react. I don't want to move. I just want to stuff. I'm shivering. And they don't move very fast. And so when I threw the mint in the cold one, it was just like, oh, bump. And a tiny, tiny little fountain came. All right, friends, you were very, very, very patient with me on that one. Those were two kind of tiny fountains, but who wants to see a really big fountain? Me! Yeah. If we have more soda or cola and we add more mints, we can add the rest of these. We can add the whole tube. It could go really, really high. It could go whoo, all the way up to the ceiling. But guess what? It, I don't want to do that to my workshop. So we're going to head outside and look at our big soda fountain outside. Hi so. friends. We're outside now, as you can see, and it is a hot, hot, hot day here in Tucson, Arizona. But we're about to cool down a little bit with our soda fountain. So you saw the ones we did inside and they were kind of itty bitty. This one might be a lot bigger and I'm so excited. So what do I have in my hand here? Yeah, what is this? This is a launcher for Mentos made just for this experiment. Now you don't need to have this. You could just put them in by hand, just like I did before. But what you always need, yep, you need an adult to help you with these kind of experiments. Okay, so I have seven Mentos mints in my launcher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're held in here by this little clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on top of the soda. And then I'm going to pull the clip and we'll have a soda fountain. All right, here we go. Oh, and this is warm soda too. go so fast and so high. Seven mints. Seven mints. So seven mints, warm soda. And was this more cola or less cola than we had inside? More cola. 
cola. Yeah, it was a lot more. So we had more cola, more mints, and it was still warm. And boy, oh boy, actually that felt pretty good on a hot day like today. I, I'm not kidding. I feel nice and um, refreshed. Kind of sticky actually, but a little refreshed. All right, friends, it has been such a blast being out here with you today. And I'll see you periodically. Hi friends, thank you so much for all the love and support for season one of Chemistry Colleen. We loved every minute of it and we could not have done this without you. Your support, your subscriptions, your likes, all of that meant so much to us. And guess what? While we are ending, sadly, season one, we're coming back for season two. So as I hang up my apron for season one, we want to know what you want to see for season two. All of your good ideas, all of your brilliance, all of your brightness, we want all of it. So let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much, friends, and I'll see you periodically.